children and youth and forward. I have a very, very special story that comes from a long way away. So I'll come and get this story. Yes, my story comes from all the way from Africa. Yes, the title of the story is The Haughty Bishop and the Honest Boy. He's a very honest boy. And when I first told this story, when I went all the way across the Atlantic Ocean, Washington, D.C., all the way across the to a town called Freetown in Sierra Leone in Africa, on the coast of Africa. And I went there because my wife was uh, teaching at the university called Howard University and we were teaching students about Africa. So she went over and had a study to ask the Africans about their jobs. She was doing a research study there. And so she went over there. But I went with her and also our eight-year-old daughter, Debbie. Debbie Kett. She went with us all the way to Africa. And this is a story that I have told. And what the important thing is that I want you to know uh, first about a bishop. You know, I don't know if any of you know what a bishop does. Do you know what a bishop does? Nobody can see you. What is it? Oh, it looks like a crown. Yes, it's a bishop's hat. But that comes a little bit of shot eyes. Yes, indeed. But a bishop is a, a, a leader of the church. I thought somebody, I was afraid that somebody might be here and say, uh, what does a bishop do? He moves diagonally on the chessboard. <laughs> But a, 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 a real bishop uh, is, is one who is a leader of the church. And it, a bishop is one who has authority, who is strong, and he tells people what to do in the church and what not to do in the church. And he is a, a person of authority, and, and he really is able to tell people what to do. Now, um, especially ministers, what they can do and can't do. Who can be a minister and who can't? So he's a very important person. Uh, I want you to know that uh, we don't have bishops. <laughs> the denomination of the Methodists have bishops, and the Episcopalians have bishops, and the Roman Catholics have bishops, but we don't have bishops. Because we are pilgrims. And when the pilgrims came over here, the pilgrims say, we do not want a church with a bishop, or a country with a king. We are congregationalists. We are. Let the congregation make the decisions of what the church can do and what the ministers can do. So this bishop, if any of you ever saw one, or maybe have you ever seen a bishop? You do. You know what he looks like because he has a like that. Yes. The Pope looks like, yeah, he's the bishop of all the bishops. He's the head bishop. And this is the kind of happy man you can pass out on. St. Nicholas was a bishop. That's a good one too. Oh, oh sorry. I'm losing my microphone again. Okay. Uh, but I want you to know now, we, we know what a bishop is. It's a strong person who tells people what to do. Now, there are many kind bishops. But this bishop I'm going to tell you about was a haughty bishop. Now, does anybody know what it means to be haughty? Yes, it's not naughty. It's, it's, it's being full of yourself. And Michelle's going to tell us about a greedy person who's full of him, himself and wants to build a bar just for himself. But a haughty person always thinks he's better than anybody else. Uh, she's better. Because now they have issues with a sheep for a long, long time. I'm sure there's not many she bishops that are so haughty, and most bishops are kind. But this haughty, haughty bishop, who thought he was so much better than everybody else, came to visit a new church that they had just built far away in Africa. And the church looked something like this. If this is really a church, you want to pass around and you can see the kind of church that they built in, in, 
in Sierra Leone, and they were going to have a ceremony. And they were going to dedicate the church to the glory of God. And I went and told these children in elementary school because I am the minister who would like to tell stories. And my wife was doing research and talking to the teachers. And my daughter, who likes to make friends, who's making new friends. And this is the story that I told them. That at the end of the road, the small village in Sierra Leone was a new church that was being dedicated. And there was a procession. There were processions, a lot of people were coming together in a like a parade. And the bishop was in the middle of the parade and was walking down this sandy street of Mutai. Road to the end where the church was, was there and all through the glory, and everybody was so happy to see the new church. And the bishop went by somebody and he saw a, a little boy, a little boy sitting down on the side of the road. And he went up to that little boy and he said in his pocket voice, he said, Little boy, little boy. You look like you're a wise little boy. I will give you one orange if you can tell me where I can find God. Now you know the hockey bishop. He gave that boy the orange only if he had said you can find God in that nice new church that I'm going to dedicate. sitting down and he stood up and he looked at the bishop and he looked him straight in the eye and he said sir I will give you two oranges if you can tell me where you cannot find God the boys and girls elementary school in that class smile as some of you are smiling because that little boy knew something that's more important than the bishop had forgotten that God makes us all and God's spirit is in all of us whether we're children man or woman God has created us all he has his spirit and his image in us let us pray oh holy God who has created all human beings of all ages, open us now to your holy ages, that we may be kind and respect one another, as you, God, have been kind and love each one of us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.